Hi, this is Jim Wyckoff with your weekly 5M Publishing Grain Market Outlook. Starting out Monday uh, with a little mixed fashion in uh, the grain futures markets. Uh, over the weekend, uh, we did see good corn and soybean planting progress. That's a bit negative for prices. Uh, the uh, technical picture for corn uh, remains uh, in the bearish uh, camp. We've seen some strong downside price pressure recently that does suggest uh, corn has put in a near-term market top, and uh, prices could trend sideways lower here in the near term before they maybe put in a near-term low uh, maybe in a few weeks. And then we're going to look, look to the uh, corn market to really start watching the weather patterns once again as we head into the hotter and drier portion of the U.S. summer. Looking at the soybean market, uh, this market remains in a bullish technical posture overall. Fundamentally, we've got tight stocks of U.S. soybeans that uh, continues to be an underlying supportive factor for soybeans. Uh, but again, we may see the upside limited in soybeans by the weaker corn and wheat futures markets. I, I suspect that soybeans are going to have a, a tough time making further gains if corn and wheat futures continue to slide lower. And then looking at the wheat market, we have seen serious technical damage on a near-term basis done recently to suggest this market has put in a near-term top. We've seen a, a little bit of supportive uh, rainfall, beneficial rainfall in the uh, hard red winter wheat regions recently, although the weather still has been hot. But it looks like the marketplace has factored in the damage done to the hard red winter wheat crop in recent weeks. And it looks like this wheat market needs some, a fresh bullish dose of demand news that it's not getting, so uh, prices are sliding lower. That's it for this week. Jim Wyckoff reporting.